couple of things to bring up. Um, I have said many times to get beat up for it, and I really don't care that I get beat up for it about talking about the employees and, and, and because these are the people who really and truly make the city of Corona run from the guy, not just from the guy who's fixing a pothole to the, the fellow, the jailer who's taking care of the bad guys after these guys put him in. You guys do a good job. You really, really do. And, 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 and we've become friends with you because we see you out and, and we talk with you and we like you and hopefully you like us. Um, we're, we're in a horrible, horrible, horrible situation uh, of fiscally now. And, and this is why we were late again tonight like we were two weeks ago is because we're trying to squeeze a nickel till the buffalo screams. I'm telling you, we really, really are. And we're cutting back and cutting back and seeing how we can make this thing a little bit better. We have been accused of mismanagement. Well, let's, let, let's take a look at this for a second. If we were going to mismanage the city, that is the city council and the senior staff, do you think we do it on the backs of the employees? I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's a fallacious statement to bring up. What is not fallacious is this, is PERS. PERS is a horrible, it's, a, it's, it's terrible. Let me explain what's going on with PERS. A while ago, some people made, on the city council, made some promises to employees. If you come here, we're going to do this for you. And they were promises. They were covenants. And people came to work for the city of Corona because of the retirement benefits. And they were promises. And we said we're going to do it. And we cannot undo it. Whether it was a good decision back then or not is, quite frankly, immaterial. I got a very good friend here on, this, on, on, the, uh, on the senior staff who decided to uh, come to work for the city because it's a good place to work, and it, and it truly is. Let me explain how PERS works, okay? It's a giant savings account, and employees put in money, and you put in a specific percentage, and I don't know what that is, and then the city puts in money, okay, and it all goes into the pot, and then PERS executives invest the money. Now, I spoke with the senior actuary of PERS last week. And I, I told him, I said, you know, I've got some mutual funds, and they're doing whatever they're doing. I said, what are you guys doing so horrible? And he actually said this to me. He said, we have certain places where we can invest money and we can't. Now, the city treasurer does that as well here because they certainly cannot invest money with the city's money in my brother-in-law's tire business. We can't do that. But the city, but PERS won't invest in coal because it's not environmentally correct. Well, that's fine. That's just peachy. But the problem is this, because they're not investing in money-making organizations, the investment return is horrible. So, remember the, pro the promises we, we made to those guys? They still want to get their money, and we still have to give it to them. So we have to put more money into PERS. And this is a, this is a, a new phenomenon that we have. Mrs. Eden has put classes on her discussions in the past, and she has numbers that I'm sure she'll email to anybody that wants them, about the ever-increasing amounts of PERS deposits that we have to come up with. Now, we only, like Mrs. Spiegel said, we, you know, we've got this many dollars, and we would like to be able to do this and this and this, and all of a sudden that big, giant, monster PERS comes in and takes so much of it. Then we're left with a smaller amount of money. And who gets kicked by that? It's the parks department. You don't mow the lawn as often, okay? The library doesn't go and buy as many books. The fire departments get trucks that should have been replaced, as well as the police department with their cars, because there's not enough money to do it. And of course, the best people we've got in our city are getting killed as well. 
it's not because of the city and somebody says, oh, they're playing a victim card. Now, you know, it's not the victim card, it's real life. It's real life. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to put things back together. Now, those of us who've been in business know that to be in business, you either have to increase income or cut the expenses, right, to, to balance your stuff. And the same with if, if you've got kids, you know, golly, how much does soccer shoes cost, right? Well, the city is a similar situation, okay? And what we're trying to do is do our best to take care of the most important people we have in this room right now is the employees of the city. I'm telling you, we're busting our butts to get this thing done. 